Good morning, church. Uh, today I am at High Point City Lake Park, right on the border between Jamestown and High Point, North Carolina, just a couple miles down the road from where Irina, Jules, and I grew up. Our Old Testament reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 1 through 12. Moses climbed Mount Nebo. He went up from the plains of Moab to the highest slopes of Pisgah across from Jericho. There, the Lord showed him the whole land from Gilead all the way to Dan. Moses saw the whole land of Naphtali and the territory of Ephraim and Manasseh. The Lord showed him the whole land of Judah all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. Moses saw the Negev Desert and the whole area from the Valley of Jericho all the way to Zoar. Jericho was also known as the city of palm trees. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, this is the land I promised to Sarah and Abraham, to Rebekah and Isaac and to Leah Rachel and Jacob. I told them, I will give this land to your children and their children. Moses, I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you will not go across the Jordan River to enter it. Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in Moab. It happened just as the Lord had said. Moses was buried in a valley in the land of Moab, his grave across from Beth Peor. But to this day, no one knows the exact location of his grave. Moses was 120 years old when he died, but his eyesight was still good and he was still very strong. The Israelites mourned over Moses on the plains of Moab for 30 days. They did it until their time for weeping and crying was over. Joshua, born of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. So the Israelites listened to Joshua. They did what the Lord had commanded Moses. Since then, Israel has never had a prophet like Moses. The Lord knew him face to face. Moses did many signs and amazing things. The Lord had sent him to do them in Egypt. Moses did them against Pharaoh, against all his officials, and against his whole land. No one has ever had the mighty power Moses had. No one has ever done the wonderful acts he did in the sight of all the Israelites. Our epistle reading today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 through 8. Siblings, you know that our visit to you produced results. You know what happened earlier in the city of Philippi. We suffered, and people treated us very badly there. But God gave us the boldness to tell you the good news. We preached to you even when people strongly opposed us. The appeal we make is based on truth. It comes from a pure heart. We are not trying to trick you. In fact, it is just the opposite. God has approved us to preach and has trusted us with the good news. We are not trying to please people. We want to please God who reads our inmost thoughts. As you know, we never praised you if we didn't mean it. We didn't put on a mask to cover up any self-will or greed. God is our witness that this is true. We are not expecting people to praise us. We were not looking for praise from you or anyone else. Yet as Christ's apostles, we could have imposed our authority over you. Instead, we were gentle among you. 
like nurses tenderly caring for their own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the good news of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. Amen.